Hi, in this video, I'm going to explain how you can calculate the phase difference between two points on a displacement distance graph. Obviously, two points which are separated by a distance of one wavelength is off by one cycle, and so the phase difference between these two points will be two pi radians, because one full cycle corresponds to two pi radians. which means two points which are separated by half a wavelength would have a phase difference of pi radians. Likewise, two points which are separated by a quarter of a wavelength would have a phase difference of pi over two radians. So in general, if we are talking about two points which are separated by a distance of delta x, then the phase difference between these two points would be, um, let me write it out, the phase difference between these two points would be delta x divided by lambda times 2 pi. Yep, it's just a simple proportion. Huh? So we are figuring out uh, what fraction of a full wavelength does delta x correspond to. We figure out that fraction, and that fraction times 2 pi will be the phase difference. By the way, uh, which point is leading which point? Suppose the wave is traveling from left to right. Now remember, nearer the wave source are the leaders. Further away from the wave source are the laggers. So point A is nearer to the source than point B. So A must be leading B by a phase difference of this amount here. Sometimes what you are given is the displacement time graph of two oscillations. So one graph shows the displacement time graph of one oscillation, and there will be another displacement time graph for the other oscillation. So if these two graphs are overlapped like this, then they are in phase, and the phase difference is zero. If these two graphs are misaligned by a quarter of a cycle, then the phase difference is pi over two. If they are completely out of phase, then the phase difference will be pi. And this will be 3 pi over 2, and this will be 2 pi, and so on. So in general, if you have two oscillations that are misaligned by delta t, then the phase difference between these two oscillations can be calculated by delta theta, which is the phase difference, uh, being equals to delta t divided by 1 period times 2 pi. So you can tell the period from the graph. And for delta t, you can obtain that by just checking the misalignment between two corresponding points on the two curves. So it could be the two maximum points or maybe between the two zero crossings here. So any two corresponding points, you'll, get, you'll be able to figure out what is delta t. Ooh, by the way, um, which oscillation leads which oscillation? So if these are two oscillations, then obviously A is leading B. Huh? Let me write it down first. A leads B. Uh, how can we tell? Well, you see, A reaches its maximum position before B does. A does the zero crossing before B does. So A must be leading B. Alright, that's all. Ta-ta!